Hey guys, welcome back to Cook Shop. Uh, kind of a last minute installment here because this is my uh, entry into the leftovers challenge. I'm sure you've heard about it. A lot of the big names here on YouTube, big, innovative, interesting guys uh, are part of it to help out of work restaurant workers. Uh, I'll let them tell you about it. Restaurant workers have always been there for us. They've worked long hours. They've worked late nights. They've worked holidays away from their families. All to make sure that we're happy and fed. Now it's time to repay the favor. Because of the COVID-19 pandemic, millions of restaurant workers have either lost their jobs or had their hours drastically cut. And as dining rooms across the country shutter, takeout and delivery are the last remaining lifelines for many beloved restaurants. So here's our challenge to you. Yes, you. The one in front of the screen with the hair and the shirt. Lucky bastard. If you can afford it, order more food than you can eat in one meal from your favorite restaurant. Put those leftovers in the fridge and make the most creative dish possible with them the next day. Take a picture, post it to social media with hashtag leftovers challenge and urge your followers to do the same. Another big name part of this challenge is CJ from Cooking with CJ, which is how I found out about this. Thank you, CJ. And uh, at the time I thought I'd eaten all the rest of my leftovers, but I hadn't. Uh, hey, I worked in kitchens for years and not a lot of money, a lot of hard work, and being out of work for this long uh, really stinks. I don't know if you hear that noise. That's my co-host today, Ollie, who doesn't understand the meaning of just sit down and be quiet. <clears throat> anyway, uh, so yeah, donate if you can. If you can't, hey, at least order yourself some good food, maybe a little bit extra, and uh, make your own leftovers challenge. So here's my entry. I ordered from a place called The Chicken Coop, which is local to me. They have great stuff, my personal favorite. The Nashville hot chicken sandwich. I ate all mine, so that's not part of my leftovers challenge. What is part of the challenge are the uh, leftover buffalo wings. Uh, my kids love them. Y'all know I'm a purist about buffalo wings, right? You've seen my video. If you haven't, you should check it out. Um, this place actually has good wings. One of the few places I'll order wings from. So I repackaged them, by the way. This is not how they came from the restaurant. Uh, so I got some leftover wings with no skin because my son eats all the skin off of them. I've got some uh, snow peas. Uh, celery would have been traditional for buffalo wings, but I don't have any celery. I got some snow peas, got some carrot shavings, blue cheese dressing from uh, Chicken Coop, uh, some oil, some Franks, of course. Today, my leftovers challenge, I'm gonna make buffalo wing stir fry. All right, so job one is peeling all the rest of the meat off the bones of this chicken. Takes a little while. It's actually a lot faster just to pop these things in your mouth and eat them if you know what you're doing. But you keep at it, and eventually I got my little pile of leftover chicken. And then clean the station. And by the way, surgical towels, they make really good dish towels. All right. Peel the little stringies out of the peas. And then just for good measure, because why not give them a little cut on the bias. I know I said I was going to use oil, but eh, it's buffalo wings. Got to use butter. Get the chicken going. Throw in the veggies. Got the snow peas. Got the shaved carrots. Not carrot shavings, like I said before. Add a little salt. Eh, more butter and then the Franks last of my Franks last of this bottle anyway got a couple of big ones in the cabinet and just for kicks I'm gonna put in a little uh, ginger spiced up give it a little uh, stir-fry flavor moment of truth it actually looks pretty good give it a try It's pretty good. It's really good. It's actually really tasty. Of course, I didn't really do any of the work. I have Chicken Coop in Baldwin Place, New York to thank for that. So thank you, Chicken Coop. Uh, order from your local takeout if you can. Order a little bit extra. You know, tide yourself over. Thanks to the guys who started this challenge because it's a really good cause. Thank you to CJ for uh, introducing me to it. And thank you all for watching. And uh, take care of each other. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.